Hey folks, Mitchell here of The Conscious Builder. Just wanted to take a second to uh, show how we deal with our window installations. Um, this is a strategy that we've developed to be cost effective, easy to execute, and also hit high performance standards. In general, there's three things you want to think about when you're doing your window installs. Uh, the first is to always follow manufacturer uh, uh, installation guides. You know, we just put those right here on the sticker of the, the sticker on the window so that everyone knows that we're doing what we need to do and uh, that way we can uh, maintain our warranties on them. The second thing is to think about how it's going to finish out in terms of like drywall extensions, jam extensions, uh, siding on the outside. And then the third thing that I want to talk to you about today is the uh, strategy for dealing with water. As carpenters, we like to think that we do everything we can to keep water out. However, it's just not realistic, like water is going to get in. Um, so we just assume that and that way we can develop a strategy for dealing with the water once it gets inside of our assembly systems. So let's flip the camera around and uh, I'll kind of try and show you a little bit about how we detail these windows to deal with water. This window actually had a uh, defect in the frame uh, and so it was replaced and so it doesn't yet have its jam extensions that will go in here um, but that'll allow us to put our trim uh, into the window. Uh, what I want to talk about is the water management strategy. So the first thing to note is that our sill here is actually beveled. Um, on edge on about maybe a three or four degree angle. And that just means that any water that gets down into this frame will hit this sill uh, and hopefully ride out. Uh, the window is taped all along the outside prior to the installation and that allows us to connect it to our air barrier. However, we omit the tape on the bottom sill here uh, to create what's called a weep. And that way any, again, water that gets in will hit our sill pan here, uh, which you can see dusty. Uh, Exto Seal from ProClima, really good product. Um, and the next thing uh, is that we go then ahead and we spray foam all the way around. Um, and I think that the thing I really want to highlight here is because we have to use shims to install these windows, um, shims actually do leak air, uh, the gaps between the shims as well as the end grade. So the nice thing that we kind of do to help keep this seal continuous is just hit the back with a bit of silicone. So here you can see a fully installed and cased window. Uh, big, beautiful triple pane window looking out over the nice lake. And I just want to mention that before we put our casing on, uh, here you can see the jam extensions that go and uh, finish out the window. We do another line of spray foam around uh, before the casing goes on and that just ensures that we got the best seal that we can possibly get. I know it's not the prettiest shot, but uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight into how we uh, deal with water uh, and air uh, when it comes to our window installations.